Hey YouTube friends, what I'm doing right now is rebuilding this, what they call, Philco calls the filter condenser bank. And that is this section here, and it has these terminals. Now I've unsoldered a lot of components, as you can see, like this resistor here with the asbestos cover on it. <laughs> And um, we have one, two, three, four, five sections here. This one isn't used. And that corresponds to the schematic here, which has sections A, B, C, D, and E. And it says internal, condition, internal connections filter condenser bank. And those five sections go to ground. So this is the condenser that's on the front and condenser is the same word that they use for capacitor but back in the day they used the word condenser and that's the big uh, case here and it has large paper capacitors in there which is kind of unusual you think it would have like electrolytics in there but they're large paper capacitors and they're they're large when I say they're large they're large like a two microfarad paper capacitor it's pretty large so I figured out I'll, I'll test it out so and why am I doing that because you know this thing was like when they built it they vacuum packed it with that waxy tar or that tarry wax whatever you want to call it and that kept the moisture out and everything like that so that should make it last a long time like who knows decades or 75 years or maybe not that long so what I'm gonna do is test it so I got the meter I'm gonna make sure that this case is going to chassis ground yeah, that's a good ground there. So before I test it, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it with um, this is a two microfarad, a new two microfarad made in France electrolytic capacitor. So let me hook that up to the meter and I'll show you what what happens there. Let me hook it the other way. So there's some residual charge on there. I'm going to hook it the other way. And this is what happens. It's going to charge up per like the time constant for charging a capacitor. And it charges up faster at the beginning and then it slows down. It's an exponential function. But you can see for two microfarad capacitor very large it's charging and charging it's going slower but it's charging it's at 50 mega ohms here now as it charges up all the way from the battery that's inside this VTVM it's um, it's gonna go to infinity you know now the scale is like See, it's at 150 mega ohms. And it's still charging up. 200 mega ohm. So this is eventually going to go to infinity when it totally charges. And that's to be expected because this is a good capacitor. It's a brand new pup. It's made in France too, believe it or not. So, let's see what this thing does. I'm going to hook up a section here. And who knows, I might get lucky. I might get lucky here. Okay, it's charging up. I got the radio capacitor condenser charging. Charging. 
Yeah, it's doing better than I thought it would do. Uh-oh. Slow down. She slowed down, Captain. Aye, Captain. She slowed down. She's not charging anymore. Yeah, it's kind of sitting there about 30 meg. It should keep going. But, you know, that's probably to be expected because it is a capacitor that's been in, in there. It's been in the radio since 1933. So, I was trying to be, like, really optimistic and say, well, if all these sections test out good, then what I could do is just not rebuild that thing. So rebuilding it's like a pain because you have to either heat it or drill out you know some people they drill out inside of it so they make a space in the bottom so they could squeeze in like electrolytic capacitor so you need you gotta get about that much dimension out to squeeze that in and some people, they try to melt it out, but I hear it's very hard to melt it out because there's so much surface area. So, let's see, let me just mention one thing here. These, I got lucky on the resistors here. These resistors with the silver end caps, they're all good and they're all well within spec. Like, if you remember from the other video, this, this 2 meg resistor with the silver end caps was spot on. Exactly 2 meg. The other ones that were like this are further out of tolerance. This one was about 12%, so I left it. One of these here was like 15% off, so I, I ordered some new ones. But anyway, what we got here, yeah, it's kind of parking at about 35 meg. So, I would say that section is bad. Now, I can move to another section. Let's go to that section there. Okay, it's charging. Now, the battery inside the VTVM is charging the capacitor up. So, it's charging but it's slow. Now you know the maximum I got in there is 2 microfarad. Just like this is 2 microfarad. So it should charge up similar. It's not going to be exact because there's probably more surface area on the older capacitors because they're so large. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it stay on there for a while, just to see what it does. But my guess is that it's gonna like kind of park and not go too much higher than that. You know, another way to see if it's good is to reverse the lead. I just thought of that. We can reverse it and see if it holds a charge. Let's do that. I'm gonna reverse it. Nah, see, I reverse the leads. And it's, it's not holding a charge, you know, a capacitor that big. I'm not sure how what how big the section I'm doing there, but it should hold a charge. Let's see, I'll reverse it again here. Okay, see it pegged the meter the other way. So it did hold some charge to it. But it's it's kind of not going up. I can leave it on there and see what it does. But my guess is that it's not much of a guess. I mean, it's come on, capacitor has been it's been in there since 1933. So uh, I would say that's a bad puppy and got to be rebuilt the whole section. 
Stay away. Take it easy, folks. Have a great day. Bye.